Hi, this is Stephanie from the Pasadena Public Library and welcome to Art Night! Did you know that weaving is one of the oldest surviving crafts dating back 12,000 years? Weaving is the process of creating a textile by passing horizontal threads, called the weft, through a series of vertical threads called the warp. This is still one of the primary means of producing textiles today. However, mostly this is done by computerized weaving machines now. Many cultures still practice the art of weaving using traditional methods and looms to create one-of-a-kind textiles. The art of weaving has existed in many cultures, from the elaborate geometric weaving of the Navajo kente cloth woven in Ghana, tartan weaving in Scotland, sari weaving in India, and silk weaving in China. Weaving is truly a global craft, yet each culture has its own distinct methods, designs, and meaning ascribed to the woven cloth. One such culture with a long history of weaving is in Guatemala. The art of weaving in Guatemala dates back 1,500 years to the ancient Mayans. Guatemalan weavers use a special kind of loom called the backstrap loom to create their colorful and intricate designs. With the backstrap loom, one end of the loom is tied to a tree or a stationary post, while the other end of the strings are tied around the weaver's back with a leather strap. Chances are you probably don't have a backstrap loom at home, but today we're going to make our own looms using some cardboard and create our own wall hangings that will look like this. Alright, let's get started! For this project, you'll need corrugated cardboard, a box cutter or scissors, a popsicle stick, stick or dowel, a plastic yarn needle, various yarns, a strip of cardstock or thick paper, some duct tape, and a ruler. If you are using a kit that you picked up from the library, your loom is already made for you. If you're watching this video on or around Art Night, I have a sign up link in the description below where you can sign up for a kit. So here are all my supplies and you see I have cut off three yards of a bunch of different yarns to use, but then I have 18 yards of the white yarn which will be the warp. To make this loom, I just cut out some corrugated cardboard and notice the direction that the corrugation is running. You want it to go along the length. This is about 7 inches wide by 10 inches long. Next you'll want to cut an even number of notches into both short ends on top of the duct tape. And these are about 1 centimeter apart. To start, we're going to wrap our warp yarn around our loom. Starting at your first notch, leave about a 5 inch tail hanging off the back of the loom and then flip it back over to the front. You'll want to wrap your yarn with some tension but still be able to get a few fingers underneath that yarn. Just keep on wrapping that yarn all the way around until all the notches have yarn. When I get to my last notch, I am going to take my yarn over to the back side and tie it to my first thread tail here. If you want to create a fringe, you'll use a little spacer at the bottom. So I'm just placing this piece of cardstock behind all of my yarn at the bottom of my loom. Now take your ruler and you're going to start weaving it through your yarn. So we'll go under the first, over the second, under, over, under, over until we've gone all the way across. This will make it easier to pass our yarn through. As you see, when I turn that ruler, it creates a space that's big enough to pass my needle through really easily. 
go ahead and pick one of your yarns to start with and thread that onto your needle. Now you're going to turn your ruler and then pass your needle through the opening that's created from right to left. Pull the yarn all the way through until you've left a short tail on the right side. Now we're going to pass our needle from the left to the right and for this we don't have a shortcut so we'll just have to start weaving under and over. So if you went over on your last yarn then this time we're going to go under it. So we're just doing the opposite of what we did in our last row. And pull your yarn all the way through. Be careful not to pull your yarn too tight. Repeat this as many times as you like. After several rows, it's nice to use the ruler to bunch everything together. When you're ready to switch to a different yarn, you're going to cut your yarn tail, leaving about six inches hanging off the left side. Then we'll start with another yarn coming from the right side. Anytime you start or end a yarn, remember to leave a nice tail that you can weave in when you're done. Remember that with thinner yarns, you'll need a lot more rows to create a thick section. As you get pretty close to the top of the loom, you may need to switch out your ruler for something smaller like a knitting needle or a chopstick. So now this is ready to come off the loom. There'll be a popsicle stick at the top and fringe at the bottom. So I'm only going to remove two warp threads at a time. So I'll start with the first right two. First I'll flip it over and then you can either untie or cut this knot right here. So now my first thread is already cut so I'm just going to cut in about the middle of the back on just the second thread. Now I am going to knot these two together as one knot, just like this. So we'll um, tie each of these off in pairs. Now from the back side, cut the next two yarns and tie those together. Repeat until you've removed all of the yarns from the bottom and the top. Here I am just trimming off those tassels from the top side because I don't want those to be visible. When you knot those tassels on the top, you can also kind of pull them towards the back of your work so they won't be seen. Now I just need to weave in all of my ends, and there are quite a few ends, so I just thread my yarn tails onto a needle and then just kind of weave them in randomly along the back side. If you don't want to do this, you can also just tie them together um, along the back or tape them down. Now thread your needle with another yard of yarn and we are going to stitch in from the front and then tie a little knot right along this one of the sides where we're starting. 
So I'm just going to double knot it. And then I've just placed that popsicle stick right above. And this part can be a little tricky, but basically you are just going to keep stitching down through the front of your work, out towards the back, and then back over the top of the popsicle stick. So we are attaching the popsicle stick. When you get to the end, you can go ahead and just knot that last one and then tie the two tails together to keep them out of the way. Now the last thing we need is just a little handle here. So you're going to take about 18 inches of yarn and fold it in half. Then I create this little loop here to attach it on this side and then I'll just tie it with a double knot on the other end. And then if you don't want to weave that in, you can just tie it to these other threads right up here. That should be fine. Just cut off any excess and it's done. Okay, so here is the finished weaving and I have woven in all my ends on the back so it's nice and cleanly finished and it's ready to hang up. So I hope you give this project a try and you have a lot of fun making your own weavings. Thanks for watching!